welcome back to the watch. I'm Oz. That's Shad. This and is Civil War. We're, we're Civil War. Yeah, it's who's, upon us, or it might be upon us. Who's what? starting one? Who started it? Well, well, that's actually a very important aspect to this review of it because this movie is desperate to present itself as being ambiguous. It's ob not even ambiguous, obfuscation. But the thing is, though, it actually becomes quite clear as to wh which side is supposed to be the bad guy and which side those bad guys are supposed to represent. Exactly. It's so obvious. They're lying to our face. But but the thing is, like, what's so funny, even though it's so obvious, so many people are watching this, it's like they want it more obvious. They didn't go far enough. Okay. When it's like, this movie is actually really vile and disingenuous. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. My distaste for the, this film comes from the fact of how badly it fails at what it thinks it's achieving. Yeah. It actually is getting high on its own farts. This is a self-indulgent, aren't I a good, well-balanced, cautionary tale of uh, you don't want us to go down this way. It fails at every single point in that supposed mission. This th this film thinks it's high and important when it's not. It's actually, it fa not only does it fail at that, it is a self-indulgent wish fulfillment fantasy yep. for people who dislike certain other people, right? And uh, if anything, it kind of enc is encouraging more division. Yes. And it, as a result, that's why this is a vile film. Yeah, and the fact that it was released in an election year. Right? It's trying to, it's trying to very cynically capitalise on some truly important and... Uh, actual dangerous division that's happening in the world, right? And instead of trying to quell it, it's stoking the flames yeah. and actually exaggerating it a bit. One, trying to prop up and protect some of the groups of people that are contributing it most to the worst. Yes, journalists. Journalists. <laughs> right. I, I, there was one, there's a lot of examples in this show, in this movie of um, the mask slipping and the Freudian slip, right? The fact that a civil war is literally happening, and the very first thing we see about journalists when they're not like taking photos is they're all celebrating in hotel rooms. They love it. They love it because they're, they're profiteering off of the conflict yes, of war. They are happy to see a person laying dead on the ground if they can take a photo of it. Literally, that's in the film. Yeah. But they're the good guys because they are their their job is to record and let other people judge what it's about, even though the film literally acknowledges that recording and showing the horrors of war did nothing to prevent the conflict that's happening in the film at all. Therefore, what they're doing is pointless. <sighs> yep. And they just are getting in the way. And not only getting away, doing nothing, literally nothing, to try and prevent and stop it or help people that are injured in the process. Yeah. Like, oh, but she said the person. No, when the um, terrorist bomb happens in the first, she's just, just taking pictures. And there's still people probably injured, bleeding out, that need help. And it's like, oh, yeah. smile for me. It's like, you are scum. And they're presenting this person as the good bar good person. Oh, Journalists are the heroes, Oz. <laughs> Holy crap. You know, they, they pr pretend to be unbiased, right? Mm. But if you're standing by while people are bleeding to death mm -hmm. and you could help... Yes. You know... No, you are you're scum. Yeah. And no. not only not standing, by, standing by, actively profiting off of their suffering and po process, process of death, right? You are trying to capture their death for your own gain instead of trying to prevent their death for the other person's help. You psychopathic scumbag. You deserve to die. I'm glad you did. And the film sucks. Yes. Right? And so this the film is so awful that I don't think it should give it a free pass at all for the acting quality or the filmography or anything like that because admittedly the acting is good. The filmography and techniques is are very well done. I would even mm. say it's well directed. The plot is retarded and pretty stupid and they, the characters make really dumb choices but the greatest failing as i mentioned is that not only does this fail at the noble goal it thinks it's achieving it if it's actually working against it trying to make more division in society propelling people more towards a civil war and trying to protect people who are actively working mostly seemingly towards that end goal and the division in society yeah 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 huh. so Let's get into some of the specifics now. All right, we, we've already jumped around and, and mentioned some. Yeah. But 
Yeah, yeah. Its message is journalism is so important, even though the character says explicitly in the film that all the horrors that she captured, you know, through her journey and job did nothing to prevent the civil war they're currently in. So the message of the film is that journalism was worthless and pointless yeah. in preventing. So why are you doing it then? I can get behind that message, though. <laughs> I mean, if people are actually trying to uh, bridge the gap. Mm get people to understand one another's differences and have an explicit message against violence, that might have, have done it. Mm. Now, this is where I think the film thinks it has an anti-violent message, right? Mm. It shows people from both sides of the conflict engaging in horrible acts of violence and inhumanity. But one is clearly worse than the other. It is, it is. I mean... But the examples like the people just hanging, being tortured, you know, and no care at all for the suffering and pain of the people. But what side do you think those dudes that did that were on? Do you think they were the progressive liberals? Oh, no, it's, it's clear that um, they are on one side. Maybe we should contextualise this by defining what the sides of the film, because that helps define its ultimate anti-message of anti-tolerance and promotion of violence, and it's not depicting an anti-violent message, okay? Yeah. And so there are two factions in this, the Western forces and the state forces, yeah. essentially. There are some third factions, like Florida is thrown into the mix that's getting caught <laughs> into it, but they're mostly irrelevant for this story. <laughs> Florida man. <laughs> the Western forces are comprised of California and Texas. Oh, gee! That's like... Oh, that's like Coke and Pepsi teaming up. Oh, wait, no. I liked... Uh, Drinker's one was good. What did he say? It's like... Uh, it was like... Oh, movie Bob and... Um, Mauler? Mauler teaming up to fight Nerdrotic. Like, what? <laughs> that's gold. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, bonkers. Maybe one of these states conquered the other states before they launched the attack. But again, it makes, it makes no sense. Uh, yeah. So, the thing is, though... The film is very clear that um, the Western forces are the ones not wearing uniforms up until they meet the more organized Western forces that are wearing uniforms. Mm. Okay. And one of the contexts that we can know that these are the Western forces that are interacting with. So basically, anyone with like guns that are engaging in the conflict that are not wearing uniforms, again, Western forces, is that they're okay with journalists. Because it's very clear that President has like a uh, shoot journalists on site policy either uh, they say it's in DC but that also implied that that side is anti journalists but that that in reality that would never happen because the state uses journalists in warfare civil warfare any sort of thing mm. all the time yeah yeah well in the movie it's the uh, their, it's their own internal propaganda that's getting thrown out and so one uh, one side is explicitly anti journalist Okay, and one side is pro-journalist. Mm. Uh, one side is shown spreading blatant, obvious misinformation. The president is saying, we're winning, even though he's losing. We're doing these great victories, even though he's losing. Okay, so uh, already two big I indications. They come across people in uniforms, all right, that are irredeemable murderers, but also anti-immigration. Hmm. 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 China? So, to the point of finding out someone's Chinese and murdering them without hesitation, yeah. right? And, uh, all right, so based on those three hints, okay, it's kind of clear as to which side is representing which people in, in yeah. the world, okay? Also, every single one of the state forces we saw was a white male. And uh, with the exception of like two of the non, uh, two of the the what are they called? The Western forces. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. they were uh, they were very diverse. Oh really? Yeah. I like I missed a lot of that. Um, uh, I just don't see race. Well, the first thing you see, the first thing you see is mm. a black dude crying, screaming while he's in low cover, being shot at from a white dude, mm. and then he gets murdered. Well, not murdered, killed by a. Mm -hmm. soldier and then they the diverse mm -hmm. crowd of non-uniform sneak up and kill the now guy. the thing is the re reason why I want, like uh just uh the sides right yeah, that it's clear which side is representing who right i'm not saying one side is explicitly racist or anti-immigration or explicitly anti-journalism or explicitly spreading false propaganda right but 
which side is constantly accused of that from the other side. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And so when they depict certain sides in a film and certain sides are caricatures of what they're accusing the others to be, gee, I wonder who they're supposed to represent. Such an unbiased movie. I know, it's so fair and even-handed us. Yeah, both sides bad. One side's killing innocent people for mm -hmm. no other reason than their race. The other side uh, shoots the president. Not only shoots the president, has a long drawn out um, hunting of the president and makes sh make sure his uh, defeat, his, his death, is as pathetic and whimpering as possible. And uh, it plays out well, let me let me actually backtrack a little bit, right? If we're looking at the political discourse, is there one side that has expressed clear, unmistakable desires of violence against a president? Yes. Like I think of a, a severed head being of a president being held up. Yeah. One side actually has a fantasy of murdering a president, mm. and with the sides being pretty clear in the film. This film has a very blatant, in-your-face death of a president, specifically a corrupt, evil president that needs to be forcefully removed out of power. Well, do we know that he's corrupt and evil? He disbanded the FBI, which based. Oh, by the way, that's the other clue as well. Yeah. Uh, like <laughs> that president also disbanded the FBI. Which side again? You know, are they caricaturing with that? So sorry, that that's a fourth big clue, mm. <laughs> right there. And uh, well, JFK did say, uh, if I could, uh, I, I wish I could destroy the CIA and scatter its ashes into the wind. Yeah. Seven days before he was killed. So, but out of the current political oh, okay. you know, landscape, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which side ha is having issues with um, certain that would be the three-letter organizations, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, actually, you say that, but uh, the FBI recently declared Joe Biden legally incompetent to stand trial. That was hilarious, but that was also just to avoid him going on trial so he wouldn't be guilty of the things that they're accusing the other one of, right? But still, the president is too incompetent to stand trial, yet he'll still be president. We're living in cloud world. Let's just. Good lord. I mean, yeah, it, it, this is insane. Anyway, so this film plays out, unironically, like a wish fulfillment fantasy for people who want to murder, kill, and forcefully remove a president that they dislike, that they feel is Beth. a fascist. Yeah. I wonder what this film is supposed to play out like. Yeah. This is just like a wish fulfillment indulgent jerk off for. It's a hand job for journos. That's all it, it is. It feels like it. Yeah. It feels like this is not a noble cautionary tale. And this is where we get to another part that I particularly despise about this film, right? Mm. This film has no message of we need tolerance. In actual fact, it presents the conflict as being wholly unavoidable. It, it threat the entire film. Was there a single line of saying, maybe we should try and stop the fighting and talk this out, like, like understand the other side? Or, or not only that, maybe you feel like it's too far gone, we can't do it, but what if they could express regret that if only we showed more tolerance to each other, this could have been avoided? No. could have done it but not a, not a line like that at all through the film not it's actually the reverse they seem to be taking pleasure in the conflict because their answer the film is implying seemingly that the answer to this conflict is the whole and total destruction of your ideological enemy forcefully through violence destroy them all and then you will be able to get in power and have the society and utopia you want. That's the message of the film. We're getting a lot of that from liberals recently in movies seems, and shows. Seems like that. Yeah. Because that, the message of the film is we have to destroy... The president is so evil and a, such a fascist he can only be stopped through violence mm. and has to be forcefully removed through power. I mean, I mean, the president must have gotten to that position through the democratic process, you'd think. But Yeah, even Hitler was elected into power. Okay. Um, and I'm not saying people can't be elected into power. That needs to be, you know removed it through because <laughs> Hitler obviously was really bad. The yeah, Joe Biden was elected into power, don't you The thing know? is though, the current state in America, we don't actually have Nazis in power, even no. though certain sides would like to vilify <laughs> people to that level. Joe Biden's old enough to be a... <laughs> so, uh, the message of the film is uh, you can't... Peace in America and ideological, you know, um you know, uh, victory can only happen 
through the destruction of those that disagree with you and uh, uh, like regretting the violence that you're forced to doesn't even exist in actual fact it is the film betrays it is good and enjoyable to destroy your enemy. They are taking glee in the death of yeah. the president. And when the people are killing each other on the other side, it's always shown with pleasure. Remember when they drag out the soldiers and these are the ones in the uniform. And I think the film might believe it's thinking, look how balanced we are. We're showing even the Western forces being like horrible by taking gl glory in violence, right? Because they take out those soldiers and then you see the guy mer executing yeah. them, right? And he is like loving it, right? Because there is no sign of regret that this is bad, we should try and avoid everything like that. Mm. The only true takeaway of scenes like that is that it is enjoyable to murder it and kill your enemies. Yeah, I also think it serves another purpose. I think this movie is mis sorry disinformation, not misinformation. Mm -hmm. Misinformation is when it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. Disinformation is when it's purposeful to trick people. I think all the combat scenes. Uh, so, for example, that one you explained with the uh, mowing down these mm -hmm. uh, prisoners, right? That's a complete waste of ammunition. That's a 50 caliber. That's mm. that thing can take down a, a bloody uh, yeah, helicopter, yeah. right? Yeah, it'll be, it'll waste be it. Single shot, but but no, they love the violence. They want to not only kill their enemies, feed their enemies. They want to butcher and massacre yeah. their enemies for the joy of it. Yeah. But the message of the film, because there's no regret for this, mm. right, is that that's actually going to be satisfying. Killing the president you dislike is going to be satisfying. Yeah. In the end. And that's why, because people might argue, no, 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 the final um, uh, picture at the end with the soldiers, you know, standing in glory over the dead president, mm. that's the cautionary tale. That's the thing that you should, everyone should look at and think, that's horrifying. Mm. We should, let us hope that we would never come to such a point where we would pose over the dead body of our enemy in happiness and glee, mm. right? The side that holds up severed heads and celebrates them, right, as the ultimate goal they want, will never get that message. That when they see that, they see victory and the future they want to achieve yeah. if they can't get the victory through any other process. Mm. That's what the film is actually encouraging and double downing with, explicitly because the film does not present any remorse for it, actual voiced remorse from any characters that it could have been avoided or should have been avoided, that is regretful, or that the differences could have been bridged. The differences are irreconcilable, no chance for them getting along, no attempt to saying, what if we could understand that side? <laughs> isn't, isn't this horrible that we're in? We should have avoided it. They try and say it, it's sad because people are dying and, oh, I'm, you know, war is bad. No, 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 no. They're not voicing or saying, I wish we would have shown more tolerance at mm. all in the film. Have you heard, do you know about our police um, surveillance procedure? You probably uh, don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, like depends. tailing in movies, for example. Okay, yeah. They're right there behind them, mm. right? They, they In movies, they've specifically made it so you can't show proper police surveillance procedure because oh, yeah, otherwise yeah. criminals will mm. know, right? Yeah. I feel like they've done the same thing with military tactics and just violence, ta violence tactics in general for mm. movies. That's why the action in this movie makes no sense at all. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Nothing makes sense. Oh, oh, just from the beginning in terms of the resources of either side. Yeah. Uh, well, no, no, not just that, but like the actual placement. Like, for example... Uh, where you see the first couple of people killed in the shootout, right? Mm. They, for some reason, jump behind concrete pillars that are barely big enough to actually cover them, right? Mm -hmm. Shooting up at people who are in perfect cover, shooting down at them, very, you know, really, mm -hmm. very little of them exposed to shoot down, stuff like that, right? And the people up there still lose, right? Or at the end there, they still have the president in the White House when DC's completely... I know, we're, 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 they would, there's he a wouldn't be in the same it. country. I know. It's, it's retarded beyond belief. There's a vault underneath the White House <laughs> yes. that survives nuclear f explosions. But he's just in his office, just waiting to be killed. Yeah. And the and the soldiers, bloody Delta Force from the West Coast, is happy with journos being right behind them, getting in their way. The journos were just friggin' so frustrating with how in the way. But 
they, they were trying to justify it. No, they wanted to get the picture of the president being defeated to the world as propaganda, not for like a message of the importance of journalism. No, it's just a profiteer and and spread wartime propaganda to mm. prop up one side that yeah. this film is obviously trying to get you to sympathise with because. Well, they're not against immigration. They are not against disbanding the FBI. They are not against murdering journalists and mm. all that stuff. This movie will probably get people killed. Like Thirteen Reasons Why got people killed. You know that show, uh, Thirteen Reasons Why? The girl. Who oh, the murder. Yeah, the yeah. suicide thing. That Look, got people killed. I, I, I can't say, and I don't want to speculate that. Fair enough. But um, it is not encouraging tolerance and. Mm de-escalation by any means. It's the opposite. Yeah, yeah. This film is a vile piece of crap that is just like the journalists who are trying to profiteer off of something horrible. Yep. This film is trying to profiteer off one of the most divisive times uh, the US has seen in recent memory. And honestly, I reckon there probably is going to be a civil war. Uh, look, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I hope not, because this is the thing. If people, even if you think that it's going that way, the goal then should be to try and prevent it by teaching tolerance and acceptance, mm. um, not being so tolerant to being run over, of course, and uh, well, conceding the, on your standards. And that's so, the that's the choice there. You know, well, when that, is it okay? There are the sayings that you know, if um, the voice is take, vo is it the voice of process is taken away? The only other option is. You know, violent protests or something like that. There's, there's a lot of really good quotes about yeah. it. Like, uh, between two types of, two different people who wanted to create inconsistent worlds, I see no remedy but force. There's one like that. There's uh, people who make uh, peaceful re uh, resolutions impossible, make violent revolutions inevitable. inevitable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, there's so many great... Yeah. But that those should be the cautions. Uh, I, ho I hope it doesn't go that way. Um the thing is, I do believe we already are in a type of war, a culture war. Mm. And the culture war, the purpose of it is to try and prevent an actual war. And that's why we, you know, calling out this piece of crap of the film, okay? Because of the anti-messages in it. Mm. And, uh, you know, again, like, the whole profiteering off of it I find particularly disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, the fact that it's not unaware that that's what it's showing the journalists doing it. It's and then like doing it itself. Doing it Which itself. makes sense because it's unaware of it. You know? Exactly. <laughs> Art exactly. imitating life. Don't even bother watching this film. It's a piece of crap. Mm -hmm. Stay on watch. Mm -hmm.